Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use the testimonial plugin for WordPress so you can put testimonials on your page from fans of your site. So let's go ahead to plugins and we're going to add new and do a search for testimonials and click on search plugins. We're going to look for one that has nice high rankings and this one for IQ testimonials looks like it has the highest ranking of all. So let's go ahead and click on install now and install the plugin. Once it's installed I'm going to click activate. So let's go ahead into our settings for our testimonials and this will show you all of your settings that you can put. So you can have a maximum number of testimonials, you can rotate the testimonials, you can have a rotation speed and a fade speed for when they'll come up on your page. For the form settings, you can require a name, an email, and all of these other options. So check the ones that you want. And let's go down to the global settings. We've got the maximum image width, the maximum image height. We can randomize our testimonials, which is a good idea so people aren't seeing the ones from the same people all the time. And you can choose your page settings so it has the maximum number of testimonials that will be displayed on any of your pages. And then you can put in your administration email and click on Save Changes. You can reset all of your settings to how it was originally or you can uninstall the plugin. I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now I'm going to click on IQ Testimonials under the IQ Testimonials tab on the left. So let's go ahead and add a new testimonial. Now you can take these testimonials from emails that people have sent you, from conversations, but you'll want to get their permission before you use it and you can leave it public, hidden, or pending and I'm going to click Submit and the testimonial has been added successfully. Under here we've got other testimonials that have been added. This is one from just the Gravatar and this automatically adds because we added the Gravatar plugin to our WordPress site. So you can scroll to the bottom, check ones that you want to delete, feature, or unfeature. So I'm going to click both of these, mine and the one that was already done by Gravatar, and click on Feature. So let's go to My Appearance and go to Widgets and find out where these are going to show up. And here we have the IQ Testimonials. Now as we know from when we looked at the Widgets menu before, we can go ahead and click the IQ Testimonials and we could take it to our main sidebar, showcase sidebar, the footer area, etc. And I'm going to drop this in footer area 1. I'm going to click, drag, and let it go. And then I'm going to name it and click Save. So I'm going to go into my website as a visitor. I'm going to refresh it and let's see where that came up. Down here at the bottom, this is a sample testimonial. Feel free to delete it but we know now that it's going to show up with his picture and we can rotate through. Now the reason that it showed up with his picture is because he uploaded his image to it. Since I didn't, it just went ahead and put my testimonial here and as you can see they're fading and coming up between those two. So if you decide you don't want to use that anymore, you can go in and delete it out of your footer area or you can always go back into your plugin and you can deactivate it. But a testimonial is always a good way for people to see how much other people are enjoying your site. And remember, keep those testimonials new. You always want to have updated information because that's going to help Google and the other search engines find you more easily. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to use your testimonials, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.